Okay guys, I'm back. And I have my uh, pink catcher on the table. I have a little palette knife because first I want to clean out the, just a little bit of this stuff. And I want to show you how easy it is to um, to get it out after you, you've done this. Look at that. I just love doing that. <laughs> I don't know why. It's really satisfying. See how you can pull that all out? <laughs> Look at that. Talk about skins. This was from the uh, the last spinner. And I made some paints and someone asked me to do a, um, a spin with the Vallejo. So that's what we're going to do. Let's see if I can get this one out too. Oh no, it's pretty... It's breaking a little bit, but we got it out. Ooh, got to get those hairs out. We don't want those in the uh, in the painting. There it is. Okay, so now, a lot of questions about the banding wheel. So I'll show that too. This is what I use. This is a banding wheel, and it is pretty heavy. And the bottom has the ball bearings in it. And it spins rather good. You see that it has momentum. Don't have to really uh, help it along because, you know, just one spin will work. So what we have is um, Kenny. Kenny Rogers. He's going to be uh, put to use. And um, I didn't clean it, though. That's pretty stupid. Uh, well... Let's see if I can get it in the middle here. Where's that little cross? There, right there. Let's see. I'm hoping that's the middle. Yeah, that, that'll work. So what I did is a, um, I guess so the label, because you never know. Some labels, they do bleed through, and you gotta watch out that it doesn't happen to you. So that's what I did there. Then, <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm gonna get a some alcohol and this is the lower percentage because it's just for cleaning so this is uh, as you can see 70% and I just put a little bit on the rag and then just wipe the record a little bit not too much I think it'll work Just clean it off a little bit. Let me see. That's about it. You just see a little fingerprint where I touched it with my glove. Usually I always got gloves on because when I um when I handle the paintings that are dry, I don't want to get that fatty, you know, your hands are always fatty. That's why you leave fingerprints. So I don't want to leave fingerprints on the paintings because when you varnish, you don't want anything fatty on the, on the surface. Okay, I think we're clean here. It is still a little bit moist, I think. Yeah, a little bit. Let's spin it. Let's give it a little spin. That'll work. You know, it'll just evaporate anyway. So what I mixed up is uh, Vallejo. I uh, took the uh, teal, of course, because it's my most loved color. And I added the three to four... Um, parts of a uh, flow draw. Then I took the teal again and I put in three drops of green and then you get this beautiful green turquoise. Isn't that just a beautiful color? Then I took some semi-transparent purple and I put in some silver. I don't know if you can pick it up but it is uh, sort of like primary elements now because I put in the silver mica. I didn't put in too much. Maybe I should have put in more. Nah. We'll just do it like this. 
and that's the same I did with this color because this one is also semi-transparent I don't know if you guys can pick it up but there's a really nice uh, nice silvery uh, glitter going on in this paint but you can only do that in semi-transparent and transparent paints and I also put it in the white this is uh, the sink sink white so it has those silver things in there too We'll see how that turns out when it's uh, when it's dry. So um, we're all set up. We have the pellet knife. We have our uh, torch, which is just a normal creme brulee torch. It's a cook's torch, and here you can adjust the uh, the flame. I always have it open all the way because someone asked me about that too. This is uh, as a uh, as much airflow that you can get through it. Oh, and I should buy a, a, a new one, yeah, because the other one is broken. I got so much uh, paint in there that it doesn't work anymore. Maybe I could fix it. Let's see if I can fix it. Oh, I fixed it. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm just a regular MacGyver, aren't I? <laughs> okay. We fix that. Um, I'm not sure if I have enough paint, but if I don't have enough paint, then I'll just make some more. Because that's one of the advantages of Vallejo Fluid Acrylics. You mix up that paint so fast, you know, it's so, so, so fast. Because it's just, you know, the uh, Fluid Acrylics, and you put in the Floetrol, that's it. And it, it stirs up beautifully, and you don't have to, um, you know, first get it smooth with the pouring medium. And then putting water in, water in, like 20 times to get the good consistency. You're straight away, you have the right consistency. So putting in, to start, some of the zinc white. And um, in the flow troll is the um, dimethicone. Because I put that now in uh, 8 ounces of uh, flow troll. I put in, this time I put in a little bit less. I put in 15 drops. There goes the purple. There goes the teal. No, not the teal. This is the green turquoise. Green turquoise. And now we're putting in the teal. And I was going to add a little bit of um, uh, like a burnt sienna or something like that. But we'll just see how far we get. Now, another little bit of that sparkly blue. There we go. And a little bit more of the sparkly purple. I like the, the purple and the blue. It sort of goes really well together. And there goes the last of the white. Now I'm hoping I have enough paint <laughs> because um, I don't know how much, uh, I'd say this is about 100 milliliters. So 100 milliliters in the cup. Okay, let's just do it, right? Okie dokie. So I'm going to spin it fast. Yep, that's enough. Oh, the middle. Wow, I don't even need to torch it. Look at that. You don't even need to torch. That is perfect. But I am going to torch because you guys know me so well. But isn't that beautiful? That is beautiful. Yeah, there is something happening. I see some more cells, like really small ones. That's it. No more than that. Oh, guys, this is really, really, really a beautiful thing. This really is. Wow. I'm going to get you down. Oh, there. I've got, you know, the rings around them, the ones I like so much. 
Let me see. Uh, how can I get this? No, I can't get it out. Let me try. Ooh, that went easy. And then I've got to get this thing out. And get some cups. Same size. Got to watch out that it is level because otherwise, you know, it's not not really level, but it'll have to do. There we go. Now I can show you. Oh, I really like this one. Go down here. Look at that. Wow. There's just a slight, slight hue of purple coming through. That is beautiful. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but I, I see it. There's a lot of sparkle in that dark, dark blue. You just can't pick it up, I think. Yeah, you can a little bit. Wait till it dries. It's going to be totally, uh, totally shiny. I'm sh pretty sure about that. There it is. So what I do like about everything, and I gotta see if I can get underneath here to get that hole open because I'd like to make this one into a clock. I have a lot of those um, uh, movements, so I'm going to be using them. See? Making sure it's open. So we can stick that through there. But this is, um, I am totally, totally mesmerized by, you know, I didn't even have to torch it. If I hadn't torched, it would have been just as beautiful. Now with torching, I got a little bit of uh, little cells kind of popping up here and there. But this is, you know... Guys, if you really, really want to do this and you don't want to get into uh, experimenting and doing pour after pour without the cells, then you really have to get this paint. Really, really, I s promise you, you know, Vallejo is not paying me to do anything. Um, I, I buy my paints that I use. Uh, of course, I get it for wholesale, but I'm not, you know, I'm not getting sponsored. They're not giving me money. And I promise you, you know, well, I don't even have to uh, say anything about it because you saw what happened. You don't even have to torch it. So if you want to do this with children and you're afraid to give them one of these things, which I would be because I, oh, I wouldn't want you giving that to a child and they burn themselves because I, I would, oh, I would really, I would really be sad. So, but if you use this, and you do exactly like I did. You put uh, 16 drops in 250 milliliters of Floetrol. And you mix the paint with that. This is what you get. This is it. I'm sorry, but <laughs> this is so, so freaking easy. Everyone can do this. And I, I, I just love these colors. I'm so glad I did the, this, the double color, those two. Because those two are on the outer rim. And you can see the uh, beautiful, the teal, and you can see the green turquoise coming up. And they just did a whole bunch of cells, and that is beautiful. Then this whole rim here, that is so beautiful with the outline cells, which I love so much. And then the middle there, I'm pretty happy that the middle wasn't covered, that I had to do that at the end, because it gives that clock something special because when you put the movement in that'll be in the middle so that's going to be cool too but i just love these paints i can't help it they're friendly they are um, easy to mix if you put the silicone in the flow trawl you will not have to worry about the cells because they just pop up all by themselves and not only on a spinner but you've seen me do that on a canvas also so everyone will get these results. The, absolutely, because you cannot do this wrong. 
Um, there's no water involved. There's no not one drop of water in the mix. All it is is a Vallejo fluid acrylics and a little bit of Floetrol. That's it. And that's what you get. Now, if you're thinking about doing this with, um, like, say, the studio paints, which are much thicker, uh, you can do that too. And I might, I might do that because I'm going to do a lot of videos this weekend. Uh, we, we, we could try that. You know, the same thing. I will um, thin down the Windsor & Newton, and I'll make it as thin as uh, fluid acrylics. I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to do that because I, you don't want to use that much water because it will break down the binders. So that you don't want to do. But um, I'm going to figure out how to do that. Then we're going to do the same mix with Floetrol with the silicone added to it and the Windsor and & Newton. And then I'm pretty sure that we will have something similar to these results. Um, yeah, I'm over the moon with this one. Really, I am. I think it is, wow, so beautiful. Can you imagine have, having some sort of a little cottage on the, on the beach and then everything in these colors? Oh, man, I would love that. This is so, so much like a beach theme. It is beautiful. Okay, guys, I won't keep you any longer because I'm going to put this one up on YouTube. And uh, I want to thank everyone, of course, for um, watching all my videos. And the sponsors, which I'll show in the next video again. I'll go see if I have to update the list. And um, I'll be back with you guys. Well, maybe now in about when I upload this two hours later. Because I have to uh, have something to eat, do a couple of things, answer some questions. And then I'll be back with you guys. You have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. And if you have some time on your hands, make some beautiful art. Thank you all. Bye-bye.